Hi, Keaton, and uh, other kids who may have watched this, may be watching this, who uh, you know, are going through a little bit of a tough time at school with bullies and stuff. Uh, I watched a video this morning, and uh, I just wanted to say how brave and how insightful and just what an amazing kid you are that through you know I could see your pain and through your pain you were still trying to understand why bullies bully and there's a lot of reasons why um I think like you know people say yeah bullies are cowards or Bullies are bullied because, bullies bully because they've been bullied at home. Whatever the reason, uh, at the end of the day, it is still a horrible thing and it should never, ever, ever be minimalised how horrible it can be to be on the receiving end of bullying. Uh, as I sit here, um, I was watching, and as I was watching your video, I was thinking back to a lot of times when I was at school. Oh, uh, this is more than 20 years ago. And uh, way too many years ago. But, you know, the bullying is still fresh in my mind. But at the same time, you know, I feel... So much like, you know, as it was sad, it was horrible, it was hell. School was horrible. School was very hell, very horrible. And, you know, to be the kid in the schoolyard who's, uh, you know, beaten up or called names or just excluded or any of those things. Just because you're a little bit different, or maybe you think a little bit different, or you act a little bit different, and kids just don't understand, and maybe, you know, the adults around them don't understand, so maybe some of them aren't really teaching them to, I guess, be better humans. And, you know, in that sense, I think probably they're failing their own kids and you and their community by not teaching their kids to be better humans and uh, you know the teachers you know sometimes they don't see what happens and it's not you know because they don't care or anything like that let's not generalize that but uh, sometimes you know kids are not you know kids are pretty clever sometimes you know in sometimes in not very good ways they they know how to do it in such a way where they can get away with it without being noticed and uh, I'm rambling now but uh, I really wanted to say that uh, you know I'm sorry that you're going through what you're going through and you know school is tough it is hell, and uh, I remember my hell all too well. I was I was picked on a lot. I was bullied by uh, you know kids in my class. I was told to go away a lot by people who I sat with because I thought they were friends. I um, I had people pour drinks on me, and I've had people try to set my hair alight. I had some pretty awful things. And you know, to this day, I don't, I don't know. Like, I have not let any of that stop me from doing anything that I've ever wanted to do in my life. I don't have a lot of confidence, but I'm getting better, and I'm getting to the point now where I can be confident to do whatever it is that I set my heart to because the alternative is letting the bullies win and I refuse to do that and that's my advice to you my young friend 
is the kids can say whatever they like and yes it hurts but you know what life gets better it does get better you asked that earlier and you, where you said I don't know if it gets better mate it gets better life does get better because I can't stress that enough because not only you're not is it that you're not stuck for eight hours a day with kids who don't understand you you get to go out into the world and you'll forge your own friendships and you'll find your own place of belonging and you'll do that through doing the things that you love and that that will make you stronger and braver than any of those kids and I wish you all the best mate and uh, I hear you yeah a lot of people hear you but I definitely hear you <laughs>